This is YNN, Lone Star Scene. Hello, I'm Victor Diaz. Today in Lone Star Scene, we head toward the holidays with the first look at totally homegrown animation in Flight of Magic. A training exercise turned tragic, causing Dasher, Dancer, Prancer and Vixen to crash into Comet, Cupid, Dona and Blitzen. The disaster-ridden treadmill was designed by Maxine Klaus. The North Pole sets the scene for a comical crisis in Flight of Magic. It's the first animated short film from Spiderwood Studios, which aims to put Central Texas on the map for fully produced animated films. Flight of Magic in Spiderwood Studios was uh, the little train that could. Uh, literally out in Bastrop, Texas, uh, we started with uh, some buildings and some talent. Studio founder Tommy Warren calls animation the future of Texas film, with the potential to unite talent from the gaming industry and motion pictures. Just before Christmas, he premiered this 13-minute short film to the crew that made it. We did all of it here, uh, and, and we're still a lot less cost per second, and that's the way they uh, price animation. And it's just unbelievable what the difference, that w what we can do here in Texas. Warren wrote the script, developed the infrastructure, and hired a producer with big studio experience in crafting compelling images. It's the story of a precocious elf who wants to help Santa by delivering presents faster with an engine on the back of the sleigh. Now, having worked at Pixar, what I suggested is we uh, have it play on several levels. While working with a fraction of the budget that studios like Pixar and DreamWorks have, Warren is most proud that every aspect of the film was completed locally, including all post-production. The short film earned an award of excellence out of an international accolade competition, and Warren believes that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of animators and people that work in animation through the gaming and uh, so we're able to bounce off of that to make movies and this is our first one and, and I believe it will be uh, first of a lot. The future of Flight of Magic could be on television as producers consider making an extended version of the short film for TV networks. They'll also look at submitting it to festivals in the coming year. With the Lone Star Scene, Victor Diaz, YNN.